Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of The Legend of Dragoon on the Makita Gaming Channel. Thank you once again for joining me. Where we last left off, we have left the capital city of Bale. We are on our way to the village of Hoax, where we hope to defend the city against an enemy attack that they believe is imminent. And they also have reports that a dragon may soon be on the on the horizon. Uh, I'm going to make... I made a few changes before I enter the city. I will show you what we have. I gave the night shield to Dart because Shanna is not going to be uh, involved in this next section. And since Lavitz has naturally higher defense than Dart, I figured Dart could use the extra defensive boost, so I gave him the night shield. Uh, Lavitz has the War God's amulet now to give him extra um, hit rates. Not going to be a huge deal, but I wanted to give him something. And I figured the War God's amulet was probably the best way to do that. Additions remain unchanged. Dart has Volcano still, which is close to level 4. Lavitz is going to be using Harpoon, which is closing in on level 3. And that's really all we need to do at this point. So, we are outside of Hoax. Let's go in. Let's go to the HQ first. Kaiser of the Eighth Knighthood must be waiting for us. Is this really a town? It looks like a fortress. It really does. It's amazing to see how the town was converted into a uh, defensive barricade. The war changed it. That's true. Nobody wanted it, but it couldn't be avoided. Let's focus on our defenses now. Okay, now the yellow triangle here, that's going to be the way to speak to Kaiser. But I want to go over a couple of other things first. Let's talk to this dude standing over here. Dole is a dominator who enjoys manipulating his country and people. We cannot hand over our Sertio to him. Okay. Oh, my mistake. That's where Kaiser is. <laughs> Shows how much I remember. Okay, then let's go over here. Oh, look. There's a treasure chest. And we got an angel's prayer. Alright. Now there... There is something I want to go get. I think it's up here. If we go into this building... Maybe... Let's talk to you for raiding your house. Now the defense for my house is perfect. I'm okay. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Let's talk to this lady too. I think we should get out of town. Mm, maybe not a bad idea. Alright, first thing we're going to do. What else would you do when you're looking for uh, rare items? Check the fireplace. In the cinders. Aha! Now there's one more piece of stardust, and I will go get that right now. Let's see. Actually, I might have to do it. Yeah, we gotta go through this first. It's in the corner of the room, the, the leftmost corner there. Kaiser! Long time no see! Lavitz, welcome. I see your knighthood was... Yeah, it was my mistake. But I won't let the dreams of my company end in death and be in vain. I'll end the war and unify Sertio. I will. Hmm. We cannot stop until we make our dreams come true. Yeah. Now, I brought you two powerful helpers, Dart and Shanna. Oh, you are the famous guy who rescued Lavitz. I am Kaiser, the head of the Eighth Knighthood. Nice to meet you. 
Could you inform me how we stand now? We are still preparing for the raid of Sandoras. What I am concerned about is the information that they are using at Dragon. It's better to fortify here and see how they move, rather than attacking a dragon that we don't know about. Then it'll be up to how fast we can spot the approach of the enemy. Great. Indeed, you are right. Dart, Lavitz, why don't you be the guard at night? Having Shanna too is not a good idea. Can you prepare the meals for the knights? We seem to be making an awful lot of assumptions about gender roles in this game. I mean, I know it's a high fantasy thing, so it's kind of old school, but <laughs> it is 2019. Preparing meals? Okay. Dart, you're going to love it. Okay, so here we have another dialogue choice. Now, some of these are really good, but like nothing is as good as Final Fantasy VII when Cloud gets to tell Eris that she's the slum drunk. But our choices here are, are you all right? Or yes, I am looking forward to it. Now we've seen previously that Dart has a real affinity for being a jerk face sometimes. I think I'm just going to keep that up and I'm going to go with, are you all right? Are you all right? I wonder how she will do. What? What? Lavitz's mother gave me a nice compliment. But in the past... Fine, I am not going to cook for Dart. I, I was just kidding. Fight a lot that way. Fighting deepens the relationship in many ways. Kaiser, why are you stirring things up even more? I thought I was trying to relax her. Now, that settles the matter. I want Dart and the others to go look around, Hoax. The night guards have to know the place. After you look around, come back to me. Stay with me, Lavitz. I want to go over the battle conditions with you. Now, shall we? Get along with each other. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's not a whole lot to see. There's church. I don't remember if there are any other uh, items I can gather. I don't think there are, excuse me. I think, yeah, you can come around the, the and go around like the perimeter. But like I said, there's really nothing to this part of it. Again, if you play this on your own and you want to sort of interact with more people, you know, go ahead, but I'm going to try to keep things moving. All right, so in this back corner, what is this? Okay, now let's go talk to Lavitz. Did you see enough? I will take you to the guard position. We are fine now. We have just finished the strategic meeting. Now, I'll take you to your position. I want to ask both of you to guard the back gate. It's at the end of the stairs. Okay. Run over here, talk to this guy. I am here to replace you. You can trust us. Yes, sir. If Sandora attacks, it will be a night raid. We cannot relax till morning. Rest while it's still light. It's strangely quiet tonight. If the dragon comes near, we can easily tell. Why is that? There are those in the forest. Maybe you want to explain that, Dart? Nocturnal owls are hooting. Okay, that's a little redundant. Nocturnal owls. Newsflash. All owls are nocturnal. It's the proof that nobody is in the forest. So, I'm going to go grab something. Worrying about Shanna? 
it's not that. Bring me back something. Well, Dart probably didn't eat because the way he told off, uh, he told off Shanna, I think she didn't want to cook for him. So he probably is hungry. Whoa. The owls. Ah! The enemy is coming! The enemy is coming! Fortunately, they can't hit for shit. Oh, except that guy. Knighthood, advance! Fortify the gate! You take care of the casualties. Y yes, sir! We'll counter them. Yeah! Alright, time for a battle. Not too difficult, we've got just two Sandoran Knights. Although, they hurt a lot more than they did at the beginning of the game. Let's see if we can straighten out that camera. Ooh, I don't want that camera angle. That's better. Pay attention to our health. gets a second turn, I'm probably just going to have him, ooh, man, Lavitz is taking some shots. That's alright, we got a lot of healing potions. Okay, 60 gold, 50 XP, 2 healing potions, seems alright. Start C is a ninja. Is this the battle HQ for the front lines of Basil? What a weak setup. I will guard the top. Gotcha. Trust me to handle here. Okay, Dart. Go go one on one here. What guts you have coming alone like that? I am here. I got those guys at the bottom. One or two doesn't make any difference. Big talkers are usually weak. Alright, that was better, Dart. You're getting better with the one-liners. Alright. Okay, now it's serious. We got a boss fight. So this is the Sandora Elite. A couple of obvious points. Uh, he is dark type, so he's weak to light, and we have nothing light-based, so oh well. Uh, he is fast. Relatively speaking, he will probably get two attacks in a row at some point or another. And he's got a wide range of abilities, which we will see as this battle goes on. So that's his primary magic attack. Hits both guys. And it's, it is magic based, so when it hits Lavitz, he takes a pounding. I'm going to see how long I can hold out before I use a healing item for Lavitz. Well, there, that answers that question. I'm going to have to do it right now. Alright, Lavitz. Heal up.
Dart's the big damage dealer right now anyway, so... Okay, basic chain attack. Now that one doesn't do so much. He's got, uh, what are those? Kunai, I think? Throwing daggers? He can hit dart all day with those. I don't care. Alright, we've got him down to the yellow. Enough play time. I'm taking my gloves off. Can you nail the real me? Okay, so what happens here, he's got three copies of himself. One is real, two are fake. I don't think there's any way to discern which one is real and which one is fake. At least not that I can remember. Um, you'll know which one is real when he actually does a, um, a hit motion after you swing at him. If he's fake, he won't move at all. So, let's just pick... Uh, the one on the left. Okay. Well, that was lucky. Darn. Okay. Well, lucky guess. Now he's in the red, so we're getting close here. I was hoping I could get him before he did it again. Uh, what are the odds that it's left again? Want to give it a try? Do we feel lucky? Let's go for it. Nope. That's not it. All three of them do attack, by the way. And, uh, yeah, it looks like their damage output is the same, so you can't even tell that way. Well, maybe it's the one on the right. Let's go with that. Yes. Yep. Go. Volcano. Got him. Alright, that wasn't so bad. 50 gold, 200 XP, and a healing breeze. And yeah, Dart moves up to level 7. Lavitz is 15 points away from level 7. So Healing Breeze is a healing potion that affects all allies. Ah! We got more dialogue here. What is that giant? It's gi Giganto! Giganto? Lavitz! I heard about it, but he's real. The ones who fought so far were no match for him. Well, he's still not a dragon. Go! Alright, back to back bosses. So this is Kongol. He's big, he's brutish, he's also very slow. He's earth-based, which means wind is his weakness. His magic defense is in the can, which means you can do a lot of damage to him that way. I've got two burnouts, but I'm not going to bother. His physical defense is very high, but that doesn't mean you can't beat him that way. You, one thing to point out, though. If you mess up your additions when fighting him, he will counter you, and you will take damage. So you got to nail it. Okay, 
so far not too bad. Although Lavitz has taken a beating again. Yes. Go. Volcano. Jeez. Pick on Lavitz Day or what? All right. Let's use that healing breeze now. So recovers half HP for all allies. So it just acts like a healing potion for everybody. And really, it's just rinse and repeat. Kongle needs no weapon. Kongle beats you with his hands. You do need to watch out now. So, he's got different attacks now that he's not using his axe. Like this. Basically just comes in and clocks you. Which does more damage than when he hits you with the axe. He can also grab both Dart and Lavitz at the same time and bash their heads together. Which will damage both of them. Yes. Here we go. And boy, that does hurt, man. He is a brute. Yes. Well, he's in the red. Maybe I'll get lucky and I can get another round in here. Oh, man! He just won't stop. Okay, Lavitz is in the crits. Oh, man. I don't want Lavitz to accidentally die, but Dart's the strong one. I want him to finish him off. Yes. We're playing fast and loose here. Go. Ha. Is that it? Is that it? That's it. Ooh! Dang! Well, that didn't go so well for you, did it, Dart? Am I missing something? Like sound? Here we are. We seem to be missing sound. Wake up! Dragoon of the Red Eye Dragon. What the heck? Why is there no sound coming out? Well, look at that. What on earth is... Hey, it's that lady from the beginning of the game. All right, so we got 50 gold, 300 XP, and a power wrist. Well, that really was weird, so the sound just totally died. Okay, well, you have to figure out what that's about. Well, Lavitz has a new addition, Rod Typhoon. The, these are not humans. Dart, you, 
What happened to you? I don't know. I don't know what happened to me. The Night of the Dragon, the Dragoon was born. Ugh. I'm surprised you didn't die. Giganto don't die. Giganto will pay you back. I like how Tart's like, yeah, get out of here. Dart. You are safe. What happened? Seeing Shanna's face makes me relieved. Boom, face plant. Dart! Are you alright? What are you to Dart? What did you do to him? I was only... Cut it out, both of you. I should be thanked, so why do I have to be yelled at? Uh, have you come to? I... I was... I'm glad you woke up. You... You are... Rose. Nice to see you again. Do you know Dart? I told you. I just saved his life. Well, not only once. I want to hear it from Dart's own mouth. Say, stand down, Shanna. Take it easy. You explain. You let me let me take a running start at that. You explain. I don't understand. Okay. So now this is one where you probably just want to tell the truth and not screw around. So you just say she saved my. I'm gonna go with she saved my life. She saved my life. Thanks to Rose, I was able to make it to Celis. Then, the person who saved you from the dragon was... Yeah, it's her. Talking about being saved, I didn't thank you yet. I don't need any thanks. I wanted to do... A minute ago, you were saying I should be thanked. Now you're saying I don't need any thanks. I see. But why are you here? It is too fishy to be a coincidence. This might be the first glimmer of intelligence I've seen from Dart this game. I followed you because I was fascinated by this artifact that you own. The Dragoon Spirit of the Red-Eyed Dragon. This... this light is... You deserve to rule dragons. This light shows the true evidence. From the time the Dragoon Spirit starts to shine, you have to accept your fate as a Dragoon, just like me. I didn't know there was such power concealed in my father's memento. You saved him because you knew it from the beginning. I didn't know it. It was a test to see if he could be a Dragoon. If you couldn't, you would be dead now. Why do you know about such things? You know too much about things nobody could know. It's better than ignorance, isn't it? That's true, but yours is not mere knowledge. It's a story and a legend that has been lost. I heard about it from Minister Noish before. The people who led humans to victory in the Dragon Campaign, they were the Dragoons. But was that the only reason you protected me? Just because I have a Dragoon spirit? Honestly, I was surprised myself, but now I know why. You guys look like my dear old friends. They lived in the middle of a turbulent generation, yet they were strong enough to grab their own fate. They knew the way to go, the things to do, the enemy to defeat, and the people to protect. I feel the same about you guys, so I couldn't help doing that. Now you understand me? Can I ask you one thing? What are they doing now? Everybody's gone. It's all in the past. I'm sorry. I think I was wrong about you, Rose. It's okay. I'm used to being hated. Is the head of the knighthood, Sir Kaiser, in here? 
The, the seventh fort is under strong attack by Sandoras. What? The seventh fort in the marshland is under the fierce attack of the dragon. Due to that, the tenth and thirteenth knighthoods are overwhelmed. Survivors are still responding. Where did it come from? From the forest over the volcano Velude. It seems there is a nest there for the dragon. Gigantos and dragons. It is not a fight between humans. If we don't defeat the dragon, we don't have a future. Summon the rest of the knights. We will assault the dragon's nest. The knighthood has the advantage of numbers, but they are only human. Humans cannot defeat a dragon. If it continues, Basil will be annihilated. We don't know until we try. Do you think a wasted death is honorable or something? But dragoons can defeat him. Dart, you should understand this. We have a different existence. We are beyond humans. That's right. Dragoon. Dragoons, which were said to have governed the dragons, can fight against the dragon. Alright, now you gotta have another choice. So, we can either be confident Dart and say you can do it, or you can be not so confident Dart and say, I don't know, we're gonna be confident Dart. Maybe I can do it now. I felt the power of the dragon in me. I'll do it. I believe in this power. It makes me feel relieved. There is nobody left who can fight in the Eighth Knighthood. Dart, Rose, it seems you are the only people we can count on. <laughs> Slump. Kaiser, you, you, your wound is open. I'm all right. Dart, Rose, the Kingdom of Basil is finished unless we defeat the dragon. So, you can trust me. I will fight for you too. I'll go too. It doesn't seem to be enough if it is only Dart and the others. Shanna, you should stay. No, I am going. I can help the other people too. The Green Tusk Dragon Firebrand. Brings back the fear I felt before. The real fear has not even begun yet. Okay, so now we've got uh, what's left of the town. Oh, we've got a knight's side. It was super. What about it? That dart fella. Yesterday, he wore unique armor and defeated Kongol. With dart, Imperial Sandora is not even a match as our enemy. Dart is the messiah of the kingdom of Basil. Messiah, huh? cannot be called a real dragoon getting stunned like that by bursting with power okay so this is where you can do a tutorial for the dragoon um, element of the game I'm actually gonna go through that so that you get a good idea of how that works then tell me Rose how should I fight as a dragoon well let's begin So there's Rose in Dragoon form. Let's begin. What would you like to know about Dragoons? Let's start with the beginning. Dragoon Transformations. Dragoon Transformations need Spiritual Power. Spirit Points. SP. You can accumulate SP by attacking enemies. Let's try. Fight with me. Come on. Okay. So you see the SP bar? at the bottom of Dart's stats, so he's got 210 HP, 20 MP, he didn't have MP before, but now that he's a Dragoon, he does. And then the bottom part is his SP meter. Yes. Go. 
Volcano. Yes, keep it up. Now we just gotta rinse and repeat until we get the full bar. Volcano. Yes. Volcano. One more. Yes. Every 100 points fills the bar. You accumulated SP. When your SP is full, a transformation command appears. Selecting that allows you to become a Dragoon. Now, transform yourself. You understand how to transform. That part's pretty simple. For quicker transformations, change the setting on the system screen. I did that in episode one. Select config, highlight morph, then select short. That's all. What would you like to know? Let's go to the second one, Dragoon Editions. First, transform yourself into a Dragoon. Alright. Now the way the short command works in the configuration, um, the first time a character transforms, you'll get the full sequence. After that, it'll be short. You emit power all at once with Dragoon Editions. Charge up your power. Press the X button when the spirit meter light reaches the top. So see that? When successful, the light continues to revolve, and the power is charged accordingly. See how that works? Now, try. This is not easy. I mean, I can do it perfect sometimes, but I, I do have trouble. Yeah, see, I was a little too quick on that last one. Yes, keep it up. Alright, let's try again. Let me try again. Ah, too slow that time. You gotta be real precise. Sometimes I find that if you if you think if you overthink it you'll miss that last one. I'll do it one more time. There we go! There we go. That's what I want. You got it. Perfect. That last hit, by the way, there's like an elemental burst on that one that your final hit actually does. In Dart's case, it would do fire damage. How was it? Got enough? Yeah, I think I'm good. What would you like to know? Next category, Dragoon Magic. This is the real meat and potatoes right here. First, transform yourself into a Dragoon. Okay. There are two commands after a transformation. A Dragoon Edition and a Dragoon Spell. You need a certain MP to use a Dragoon Spell. The spells you can use are highlighted. There is only one right now. Select the spell and then the target. Then you can cast the spell. Now, let's try. Cast a spell on me. We'll go to Magic. Notice, by the way, when you are a Dragoon, that really is it. You either attack or you use Magic. Can't use items, can't guard. These are important things to understand because sometimes you have to know when to transform and when not to transform. So here's our magic list. Right now we just have flame shot, 10 MP to use. 
Uh, description, fire strength, 50% single target. So it's a 50% damage modifier, one target. Get enough exercise? Yeah. That's that's really all there is to that. But would you like to know? That's it. One more thing. Getting SP by attacking allows your Dragoon level to increase, and you'll have more spell choices. In the end, you can only rely on your own sword. That is true. Now, the game doesn't tell you how much SP you need to level up. You just have to sort of keep doing it, and eventually you'll get enough. This is what I can teach. After that, it's up to you. I'll be here for a while. Go prepare for the departure. Let's check the... Okay, everybody's at full health. Uh, let's go do our additions here. So now what I'm going to do... We're four away from maxing out Volcano. I will do that eventually, but I'm going to switch to Double Slash. Less damage output, because it's level one, but it's 35 SP compared to currently 32 that Volcano has. Oh, how about Lavitz? Um, I'm going to go to Spinning Cane, actually. Am I going to go to Spinning Cane, or am I going to... Yeah, because Spinning Cane's SP doesn't change, and that's going to that's gonna matter later. And here's Rose, by the way. Rose starts at level 8. She has a Dragoon Spirit, of course. Not much HP, only a little bit more than Shanna. One addition, which is Whip Smack. And actually... Sorry, Shanna, but <laughs> Rose is pretty good. We're going to be using her now. Plus, you want to have two Dragoons in your party, don't you? Uh, let's check something else here. So notice in the main stat screen, we now have a column on the right-hand side for Dragoon abilities. This shows you when you transform into a Dragoon, uh, the modifiers that go to your stat values. So Dart's total attack is 22. When he becomes a Dragoon, it, goes up by, it gets a 150% modifier. Defense is 34, it gets a 200% modifier, and so on. And you can see the list of magic. Unfortunately, no, no description here for what the magic does. You have to actually use it in battle. Rose's magic is Astral Drain, which is a, a kind of a healing spell. It takes, takes health away from the enemy and redistributes it among the party members. Um, if you look at stats for Rose, her physical attack is actually the strongest of anybody right now, which is awesome. Uh, her magic attack is also the strongest of anybody right now, although eventually Shanna would outpace her. Um, magic defense and physical defense... Yeah. I mean, it's... It's okay. But maybe not great in the long run. Speed 55, a little bit of evasion. Actually, let's look at some of our equipment here. So we got this power wrist, boosts physical attack. Actually, that might be something we want to give to give to Lavitz. Anything else I got in here? No. Let's give. Hmm, I don't know if that's really going to help all that much. We are going to the marshlands. I think a poison guard on Rose might be helpful. Put that on. Okay. Other than that, like, there's no item shop or anything in here. 
Uh, do I want to say no? Because we're heading straight to the marshlands after this. So let's just talk to Rose and call it a day. Rose? There's either no, it's nothing, or teach me how to fight as a dragoon. Oh. No, it's nothing. I'll be here for a while. Go prepare for the departure. I think we just do we just leave? Yeah, we leave. Once we leave the town, I will consider you as a mature dragoon. I won't teach you how to fight anymore. You just say I'll be alright. Okay. And now I like how there's smoke coming out of uh, hoax. I think it's a nice touch. So our next goal is to go to the... Ultimately, we're going to the dragon's nest. But to do that, we got to go through the marshlands and then the volcano. So. We are going to head south to the marshlands. That's whip smack for you. Rose is very quick with her addition, so you gotta really be uh, be on top of things. Yes. Alright, turn south. And by the way, yeah, if you hold the shoulder buttons, you can actually rotate the camera, which is kind of neat. Anyway, we're going to save it here. And in our next episode, we will pick up with the marshlands and probably even the volcano. We'll see how long it takes. So, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Like I said, things are going to start getting interesting from here on out. So, please stick with it. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, tap that bell for notifications, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.